Welcome back on this Tuesday. Time for the skinny leading off with Taylor Swift. She held a Yahoo live stream concert in front of a very enthusiastic crowd hanging on her every word. And for good reason, T-Swift has a lot going on lately. She's got a new album coming out and has revealed the title, 1989. Why? Because it's, of course, the year she was born. Oh, she's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't all. She did prepare, premiere. 80s baby. An 80s baby. She <laughs> premiered, though, her newest song and music video. We're going to share it with you here. It's called Shake It Off. Take a listen. We think she's channeling her inner Bieber there with that jacket and hat. <laughs> Anyways, Taylor Swift shaking it off, an obvious jab at some of her critics. She's showing a very eclectic array of styles there, poppy, less country. Her new album isn't due out to the end of October, but she's got some more big news to share. Be sure to tune into Good Morning America for her major exclusive announcement. And next, to some breaking news of a budding partnership that's turning heads everywhere in the world of music, a very unlikely that's right. sort of Sir Paul duo. McCartney, Kanye West apparently have been secretly recording tracks that could develop into an album. This, according to the New York Post, no comment yet from either artist. Sir Paul had previously disclosed that he would be interested in collaborating with a rapper, but who knew he'd pick such a self-described creative genius. Hmm. Hmm. All right, some more breaking news to share now. Funny man Kevin Hart is officially engaged to his girlfriend of five years, Aniko Parrish. Hart dished the news when he posted this picture of the happy couple and that impressive rock the future Mrs. Hart is sporting. Hmm, big ring there. They were celebrating her 30th birthday with friends and family when everybody's surprised. There he is, Kevin Hart, <laughs> getting down on one knee, popping the question, congrats to them both. And a snapshot now of one of movie star's humble beginnings just before he got his big break. That's right. Guardians of the Galaxy star Chris Pratt couldn't wait for Throwback Thursday, so we're bringing this <laughs> to you today. He posted this on Facebook. He actually used to live in that Scooby-Doo van when he was homeless, <laughs> waiting tables in Maui. A rough life there in Hawaii. Pratt says the script in his hand is what got him to Hollywood. And he was working at none other than the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company <laughs> when he met actress Ray Don Chong. She offered him a part. And of course, the rest is history. So you've got two movie themes playing out here, along with Scooby Doo. Oh, and I wanted Bubba to Gump. see the inside. It's just a big pad with this a big mattress and pillows. Shaggy. Mm, shaggy. Finally, though, it's time to check out who's celebrating their big day today. Topping our celebrity birthday list, legendary rock drummer of Cream, Ginger Baker turns 75. President Bill Clinton is 68 today. Actor John Stamos turns 51. And actor Matthew Perry of Friends fame turns 45. Happy birthday to all.